All right, welcome back to some more Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. Should I say hello? Um, so last time we decided to make Tagami the leader of the bunch for some reason. Don't look at me why, because I have no idea why we picked Tagami when he was a stuck-up jerk in the last game that enjoyed the game, you could say. But, um, let me just make this clear. Today, I'm going to be, like, very busy and, uh, I'm probably going to be tired out by the end of today. So, I will put up a video tomorrow, but I'm going to be recording it tonight, as in yesterday. Um, so, I'm actually going to be recording two videos, um, as of yesterday. But I will not be putting up the uh, second video unless it unless uh, today's video gets 30 likes. Just to make that clear, because uh, I would do the next video like today, but I probably will be very tired, and I might record something else instead if I got the energy. But more than likely, I probably will not have the energy. So I already got recordings for Phoenix Wright. For a Ace Attorney Online done, so now I'm moving on to this, and then I gotta re render stuff, so I will probably be rendering stuff tomorrow, if anything. So, if you wanna see more of Chapter 1 after this video, be sure to leave uh, at least 30 likes, and I will put up the video tomorrow, because, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm saying right now, is just 30 likes per video, you can see the video next day instead of waiting every other day and yeah now let's leave this place please so got some milk and did not mean to press that button meant to eh i'll keep the no 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 no, no. Why well, didn't ask me where to go? I pressed X on accident and... Yes, I'd like to leave. I'd still like to take a little sip, please. Now don't press X and... Is this the right way? I forget if this is the right way or not. Okay, airport's here. And I'm leveling up or gaining experience as I go along. So, yeah. And there's where we gotta go. Cool. Now, I'm pretty sure it's the left we gotta go because right, I think, leads to the other bridges and then more. And oh my god! That strange mono beast machine is blocking the bridge! I shouldn't carelessly approach it. Yeah, I don't think you should either. <laughs> okay, there we go. Jabberwock Park. I'm almost leveled up. Come on. Couldn't give me the level up. Also, my body's see-through on the bottom of me again. There we go. Forget people. You're awfully slow. Took you over a day to get here. Shut up, Tagami. It seems you are just too fast for us. I don't know how. You're pretty fat. Jeez! <laughs> uh. I never expected a fat so like him to move so fast. What? So what's supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such ignorance. <laughs> if you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to admit dismiss you all as idiots it's right behind my big fat head <laughs> is that a bomb what is that Ew. and obviously out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park it looks like a clock but something 
seems off. You can't tell it's a bomb. It's counting down! What's going on? Was this here when we last came? No! No! I'm pretty sure it wasn't! <laughs> I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it actually was placed here. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. It has his face on it after all. What does this countdown even mean? Aww. Hmm. I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! Could it be? It better not be a bomb! Are you kidding me? A b b b bomb Not possible. If they would have blew up the island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Um. Then, what are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mis- a mysterious mystery, isn't it? Kya! Monomi? What? Why are you here? Um. I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Um. No, not uh, that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that! After all, I can never die! I'm a pretty little princess bunny after all! Magical girl too! It appears you cannot escape. I see. You must be an undead abomination, risen from the foulest depths of the netherworld by magic. <sighs> Do you want me to make you thrall? Hey, hey. Monomi's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she'd only need, like, a spare or something, right, dog? <laughs> a spare? What a mean thing to say! <laughs> However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wouldn't ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me before I squash you with my big fat ass. <laughs> huh? Countdown? Wow. Oh, 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 what is this? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. Hey, you really don't know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really have the grasp of what Monokuma is up to. Huh? You don't know? Even though you're Monokuma's little sister? That's wrong. I'm not my brother's little sister. Did she just accept the role or not? Which one is it? <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. If you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost, Pipsqueak. Um, um let's together. I don't know what to think of you right now. You're like trying to be the, are you really the goody goody two shoe? Person, because I know Monokuma made you totally different and said you were up to the wrong stuff, but still. I said get lost. I said you lost in my skinny and fat voice now. Now get lost. Yeah. I I'm, I'm sorry. Um. Um. Perhaps you are being a little too harsh. I am starting to feel sorry for it. 
<laughs> Miss Sonia! May I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist calling you that. <laughs> I won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working for Monokuma. Hey, bastard. Who the hell kid? Who the hell cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object here? How did they do it in this one night? Hmm. I can't imagine. It's not like they have mono beasts that they can use to grab things that are big, since they're they look pretty big themselves. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all oh, that's unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries. Silence the music right now as I explain more that we can't even begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too. But he's right, dog. This is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Much more like me. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being a popular re resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign for it of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is, that, is something like that even impossible? This too must be the will of causality. All civil, all civil, can't say civilizations. All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. So it, it, it collapsed. You are right. Society is much like a fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. Such a tr sad trend. Hmm. Mm, I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. So... Maybe the mono beasts killed everyone on this island? And that's how it became uninhabited? It's certainly possible. That's a possibility. But we don't know that for sure. <laughs> this mystery remains a mystery, it seems. <sighs> it's like everything here is full of mysteries. Yes, it is a mystery game after all. <laughs> You're right. It's mysteries on top of mysteries on top of mysteries. Like a ham sandwich. <laughs> However, since these, sandw mis <laughs> these sandwiches are overlapping one another, it makes a huge ham sandwich. <laughs> I mean, uh, these mysteries are overlapping with uh, one another. I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What are you trying to say? So in other words... I mean, this situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization, like myself being an enormous student. Enormous? You? <laughs> organization? Hmm. Manome, Malakuma, and the Malu Beasts. They're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Plus, they'd need a ton of funding, and there's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. In other words, that organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras that I would have break so badly. Then, could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else. 
Some were safe. Not like the last day. They were a bunch of idiots. They decided to be under a friggin' I don't know, like in a manhole or something, cooped up in a little room, controlling Monokuma and all. Right in our very, right behind our backs. Talk about stupid. Work, would it that be then? I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all of this. I see. A big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words... Well, let's see here. There's my Togami Corporations, Sonya's Novacena Kingdom, and the Kuzuruyu Clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? Huh? I'm used to be... I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey. Hold on! I don't care what you or the Kuzuruya clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonya. Miss Sonya is a hot blonde babe. There's a sharp d distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Just shut up already, loser. <laughs> Loser? Are you talking to me? Yeah. It's obvious you're flashy clo from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it must be so hard to make your living in the lame ass loser industry. <laughs> Too far, dude! That's going way too far, dog. Hey. Oh, hey, Byakuya, were you serious just now? About this being related to your family and Sonya's and such? Hm. I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... Whatever! How long are we gonna keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Like food! And babes! And <laughs> Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose! So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we would be that much closer to a break breakthrough. Luckily, according to the e-handbook, we are free to explore this island. Listen. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. Get going, gang. Let's split it up. That's... Would that be the chef's line? <laughs> I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's get this crap done! <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? <laughs> hey! Akane, were you even listening? We need to find clues about that will tell us who the enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. <laughs> they, they are destined to fall and turn to ash at the might of my four dark devas of destruction! Wow! Wow! Hamsters came out of your scarf! <laughs> They're so adorable! What? Adorable, you say? Thank you. <laughs> oh He's God. blushing. You're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sony all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious than just talking crap and saying we're gonna beat each other up. And yet, 
I am a little relieved, actually, that everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have confidence of an ultimate. Then, what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it! I still can't remember! What talent am I supposed to have? Listen. Anyway, let me say this, this. There's no time to think about something like as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. But most importantly, follow my lead. Grow fat and la wait. Laugh and grow fat. <laughs> Wait, I'm taking that out of Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> I'll make certain return you all to your normal lives, though. This is your leader's order. This is your leader's order, understand? <laughs> That's like totally awesome! <laughs> that right hand of his is so plump! I've got the perfect name nickname for him. Ham Hands! <laughs> <laughs> ham hands, you say? Mm, ham, that sounds so good right now. Um, uh, <laughs> Interesting. Well, after thinking about it, I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. <laughs> huh? Wait. Why aren't you getting mad? Oh my god, it is a parallel universe! <laughs> Why would I get mad at something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. Perhaps. I've always yearned for this. Though it may seem ironic for me to realize that it, in this particular situation... He's... Totally monologuing right now. <laughs> Such silly talk. Don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself just now. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I, I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't just some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. Tagami? Not an overconfident narcissistic jerk? What kind of parallel universe is this? Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. All right. Oh my god, what is going on here? I think this is a parallel universe because wouldn't he remember something like this? But at the same, I, I'm so confused by that right now. All right, then. We should listen to Byakuya, and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great! Because we're not alone. We have friends we can count on to support each other. Gross! Seriously? That sounds so lame! <laughs> I knew it. I was just thinking to myself just how lame I sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I've never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed kind of embarrassing, actually. <laughs> I never would have thought about it in this situation. No. Actually, it's more like because of this situation. <clears throat> in the end, we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But with s without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. Huh. If I'm starting to think like that, doesn't that show I'm making good progress?
That's right, I need to look up for those dolls. Now then, there's no reason to hole up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'd be, great, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's... Oh wait, I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial! During the school trip, there will be moments called free time. I remember free time. During free time, you will be able to strengthen your friendship and bond together. It's bonding time! <laughs> By spending time with other students, obviously. Yes, bonding time indeed. Also, if you give them a present afterwards, you might even make a even better impression. You can obtain presents from the Monokuma, Yashin, and the vending machine at the supermarket. When you strengthen a friendship, an intimate event is activated and added to the report card. Also, if you show any hope fragments you've gathered to Asami via the report card, you can gain new skills. Feel free to strengthen your friendships with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with someone, time will pass and you will return to your cottage afterward. After passing the time several times, your free time will end, and you will continue on to the main story. By the way, you can skip free time by resting in your cottage bed. Oh, oh. Not that I'd never do that, but, um, whenever I first when I played the first one, I had no idea how you would skip free time. Like, it said you can skip free time, but I don't remember it saying you could do it by going to your bed or whatever, so... <laughs> New news for me! Although, I don't really recommend it. Please use it if you want to just continue with the main story right away. It makes the game harder! Nah, I'm good. Ah, this music. Okay, cool. Is there any... Before we do anything, I wanna... I wanna search around some places. Also, level up! Okay. But seriously, I wanna search around some places, like... Would the... There be a... Monokuma doll anywhere, so I can get some more coins and buy some more stuff, because... That would be very helpful, actually. I don't see any coins around here. You all see any coins? Because I do not see any coins whatsoever. Let's try down here. Of course she would be in the game area. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. What is up with that? I'm looking. Um, let's go back outside. Maybe I'll be back for you later. I don't know. I kind of want to talk to Tagami and just get him leveled up because... Yeah, but at the same time, I don't know who's going to die first. So I really don't know... I don't know if Tagami will actually die in this game or not, because part of me really doesn't want him to die because he didn't die in the last one, and I just like making fun of him, even though he's actually turned out to be like a freaking parallel universe of himself. It's like, holy crap, where, where's his, where's his snarky attitude? Also, how's the pet doing? No, not regulations. Okay, pet. No, I did not want to do that. There we go. Almost growing up a level. Okay, we already found the one in there. Run, man! Run!
any Monokuma doll in here that I can get, please? Because... Oh, no, no, no! There you are! I knew you could do it! Give me them coins! Yeah! Give me them coins! <laughs> that was kind of smart, smartly placed since you might check it and then you, uh, and then you don't find it because you don't see it over there until it, like, gets right into place. Now I need to get this drink out. Drink that I had during Phoenix Ride and look! It's, wait. What? Let's give it a shot. Is it? Oh, okay. This is the one that you can get, like, stuff from. Okay. Is that a piece? Is that a dog crap bag? Obtain present. Come on. Give me, give me lucky. Give me some lucky. Give me lucky, like, give me, uh... Give me a bonus. Or you don't have to give me a bonus. I don't mind. What the hell is that? Is that a... Is that like one yen? <laughs> okay. Obtain a present. Okay, got one more coin. And finally, ooh, some headphones. Look like my mom's headphones that she got for Christmas. Psst. Is there any more Monokuma stuff? Doesn't look like it. Yes, please. <clears throat> and while we're here, wow, she's just out in the middle of the freaking walk walking area. I wouldn't, I didn't expect that. Uh, no. I don't want to do that. And I leveled up again! Nice! I can fight you now because I'm level 9! I wonder if Tagami's over here. If I spot Tagami, I'm definitely going to, uh... Okay, I, I knew it! Freaking knew it. Timer and it's counting down. Why is it counting down? Just looking at it gives me the strange, give me strange goosebumps all over my body. Ah, whatever. What? What happened? Are you also searching for the enemy's clues? What should I do? What should I do? Should I invite Byakuya to hang out? Yeah, I want to see if he's actually nice in this game. Hmm. <laughs> so you want to sit together. Very well, but don't try to slow me down. I spent some time with Byakuya today, searching for the enemy's clues. Looks like Byakuya let me get a little closer to him. Just saying that sounds very weird. Definitely! Okay, what items did we get? Okay, that's... That's new. Sweet bun bag. That sounds like something he'd actually like. Mm. Let me see. Uh, filled with a variety of sweet breads, including melon and peanut butter flavors. Bag has a logo of Hansel and Gretel. I think he'd like this if he likes to eat a lot. Right? Right? Do you really think I would be happy with something like this? Listen. Correct! Good job, Hajime! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Huh? Me? I don't really mind, but... There's something I've been wondering for a while, 
And I let you the I let to pose that question for my mind. Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? <laughs> huh? Well, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before? You monster. This can't be. Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? I swear, this is why I dislike communists. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say you're a uh, nine, no, maybe an eight. Regardless, it's probably around one digit. Be grateful, this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. That's why I'm fat, because that thick fat makes you really, really warm in cold places. <laughs> That's why I grew fat. I see. Anyway, you still can't remember that what your talent is? Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there is no need for you to be depressed about it. I understand completely. Huh? What's with that face? You thought I was gonna make some snarky ass comment at you? N nothing. I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. <laughs> How foolish. You really think I'd get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings after all. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. I love you either way. <laughs> Give big old Santa Claus a hug. <laughs> As long as Byakuya Tagami is in charge, you will all know peace. I... See? His personality is so overwhelming. Unlike the last game. Oh my god, it's a freaking... I'm telling you, it's parallel universe Tagami. <laughs> the Tagami Corporation is famous worldwide. But it will grow even more rapidly under my control. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. <laughs> I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Tagami, the ult ultimate affluent proj progeny. Just make sure you don't get in my way. As a commoner, a commoner should know their places. Stay put after all. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Byakuya gallantly strolled away. He was being so c pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. What is this world? I feel like I got to know a little bit out about Byakuya. No, I didn't. The last game was, a, was such a freaking jerk even if you hung out with them. In this game, it's the complete opposite. I don't know anything about Byakuya whatsoever. He's freaking flip-flopping me. Byakuya's report card has been <laughs> updated based on <laughs> that Ben just stands out. I decided to return to my room for now. Holy crap. It's still bright out, and I've still got some time left. I don't feel like doing nothing, so maybe I should go somewhere. Free time more. Or I should do nothing, because I actually do feel like doing nothing. 
Um, no, not yet. I wanna, I wanna check that report card real quick. <clears throat> um. Hmm. His presence is overwhelming, and he exudes self-confidence. He's very condescending when he talks about caring about taking. Wait, when he talks about taking care of us, but he doesn't seem like a bad person. Which is so freaking different from the last game. <clears throat> ah, there's, there's stuff. Do I have any skills? No. I probably should just keep talking to Tagami and hope that he gives me a skill because. Seriously, I really should... I really need to get a skill. <clears throat> I mean, whenever I played this originally, my my pretty much little thing of doing stuff was talk to one person and keep talking to them over and over until they... Uh... No, I did not want triangle. There we go. Um... Keep talking to them until they were, like, they gave me a skill, pretty much. And I know certain items can make them happy. So, yeah. Although, if they talk like they're in a depressed mood, you shouldn't do that. You, sh they shouldn't, you shouldn't talk to them, really. That's what I got. Okay. And then the ranch. This was like the last place I needed to check, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> Any Monokuma dolls in here? Hi. Do you want to talk to me? <laughs> no, I do not want to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Okay, so where is Tagami located? That is the question. Okay, so he is in the inn. <clears throat> He's probably in the restaurant now. <laughs> Knowing him. Okay, let's go back. Because I really want to keep getting that level up. Get that level up, man. Okay. Oh, no, you're right here. Okay, Tagami. Now, before I do anything with him, I want to say because I don't want to waste... Right, I gotta go to Sipsum. I don't want to waste anything either. So let's save. Yes, I'm surprised it's not Circle to confirm with uh, the system, but whatever. You! Very strange. Why does the organization behind this matter kidnap us? I like to think about it, but there just aren't enough clues. What should I do? Should I invite Biakia to hang out? Sure. Hmm. Very well. I was just starting to get hungry from overthinking. Let's head to the restaurant. This is your leader. Let's order. eat something light. Follow me. Something light. Sure. I spent time with Biakia today, watching him eat an obscene amount of food. That is not light whatsoever. Looks like Biakia let me get a little closer to him. <laughs> yes, uh... Do I have... Want some... Want, want some chocolate chip jerky? I got it just for you. You really think I would be happy with something like this? Listen. Correct! Good job, Hajime! <laughs> I get to eat more! <laughs> the chicken in my hands is far tastier than the beef inside the freezer. The hell kind of analogy is that? It's a German proverb, you idiot. Oh. <laughs> it means something inferior that nearby is better than something good that's far away. Hmm. But why would chicken be inferior to beef? Aren't there times when you obviously want to eat fried chicken instead of steak? No, I would. Mmm, some 
Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mm -hmm. That's true, but what are we even talking about? I mean, is that even a real German proverb? <laughs> And furthermore, why is Perk not even mentioned in this comparison? Is pig meat unattractive to Germans? Those German freaks. Why? Wait, no. That's impossible. When you think of Germany, you think of sausage. And if you think of sausage, you think of a pig meat, obviously. That's... What does this mean? What is this conspiracy? Oh! Oh god! So surprised by this! I think I'm having a heart attack! Oh. <laughs> Tagami? <laughs> what is the world is he so worked up about? Hajime, do you know what meat is more efficient source of energy? Listen. But meat contains the most vitamin B1 for converting glucose to energy? Biakia is so serious. It's actually scaring me. I have no idea how to answer. I don't know. Uh. Chicken? Is it chicken meat? Gee, huh? It's a splendid, ex exceptional meat that's low in calories and low as your cholesterol. He's really absorbed into talking about it now, but it looks like that was wrong. Um, then I have no idea how I should answer. Uh. Beef? Is it beef? It's certainly possible. Beef, huh? It has plenty of fat and iron. This supreme meat contains a sizzle. Amino acids. He's really absorbed into talking about it now, but it looks like that was wrong. Um, then I guess it's pork, even though he made it sound. I, that was so confusing. Um, is it pork? <laughs> Correct. The same amount of pork has ten times the efficient efficiency or energy efficiency as of other meats. Do you understand? Ten times. Don't yell in my face. That happened like last part. I, I get it already. What's your point anyway? Such ignorance. There's only one thing I want to say to you. Hajime, become my assistant. Uh huh? Listen. This situation surrounding us and this island is even more complicated than I had thought. Even if it's just a commoner's assistance, it's better than having a nobody at all. But I don't even remember that much about myself. We don't even know if I have a talent that would be useful to you, you know? Memory... Who cares about that? Huh? So in other words... Even if you don't have your memories, you're still you, right? You are able to live your own life, choose your own destiny. That is enough. That is already enough. All you have to do is be yourself. As you stand before me, I will believe in your potential. Come, Hajime, be my assistant. Grow fat with me too! <laughs> I think I will skip that part. Biakia. Also, what use is the past? I too was powerless in the past, but I'm different now. Is he talking about the last game? Really? Throw away your past self. It's meaningless. Powerless? What's he talking about? Was Biakia really powerless in the past? Hmm. Anyway, think about my offer. <laughs> More importantly, Hajime. Listen. Do you like chicken or beef? For some reason, I still ended up discussing meat with Biakia until I had heartburn. <laughs>
Anyway, what happened to Byakia in the past? Ben. <laughs> I parted ways with Byakia and decided to return to my cottage. Wait a minute. That sound usually means that someone's been murdered. At least in the last game. Eh? That bell just now! Could it be? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Mm mm. Hello, everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! I wonder what festivities await you! Oops! Don't want to ruin the surprise! It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park! Did he just tell us to go to the park in the middle of the night? What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all of this, and goosebumps sprung all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it! What is it now? I'm just gonna go to sleep. Sped is pretty comfortable. <laughs> After all. Um, so I'm actually going to end it here as a cliff may hanger. And with that, I will say it again. If you want to see what happens next time, tomorrow, feel free to leave 30 likes. Otherwise, it will, uh, or feel free to like the video and 30 likes will get it tomorrow. Otherwise, it will be posted on Wednesday. And yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will catch you all next time. Have a great day.